Yang, the Chinese chef. Ni hao ma, that's how are you in Mandarin. Everybody loves noodles. The Chinese word for noodle is min. Do you know that every country in the world has some noodle dishes? Today, we're going to have some favorite noodle dishes for you to savor. Cha jiang min. Seafood with pan fried noodle and curry rice stick noodles. These are wonderful noodle dishes that serve all over China. The first one we're going to show you is called Zha Zhang Mian. Zha Zhang Mian is a wonderful name because this is very poetic and is very descriptive. The first thing I want to show you is what kind of ingredient that we use or we need in this Zha Zhang Mian. First of all, you need about one pound of cooked noodle. You can use skinny noodles, you can use medium skinny noodles or thick noodles. And then you have approximately one small carrot, and then you also have a tiny bit of a small or half of a small cucumber. You can peel it or you don't have to peel it. And then we also have approximately one to two tablespoons of Sichuan pickle. And we of course have approximately quarter of a pound to one third of a pound of this lean pork. You can buy the ground pork from the supermarket. We also have some crushed nut. This is peanut. We also have some dry shrimp, minced them, coarsely chopped. And of course, you need a sauce to make this jang jang. This is approximately half a cup of home mix soup stock. Also, one third of a cup of brown bean paste. See, this is brown bean paste. I want to show you. Brown bean paste. It looks like this. It looks like this, see? And I also want to mention that you also need one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine and also two teaspoons of chili paste if you want to make it really hot and spicy. Now, the first thing I want to show you is let us cut this off and show you how to mince it if you don't want to buy ground meat, because ground meat has a little more fat. You cut this into little strips like this, cut into little strips like this, three slices like this, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it aside, and then you stack them all up, and then you go. You do not have to make it too ground because you want to retain some of the texture. So it's very, very important. Now, I am going to set this aside and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to show you is we're going to cut up some of the carrot and cucumber. Everything is julian. Okay. This is julian. Look at All done. Let's see how simple, how easy it is. And also do some cucumber. One, two, three. Of course, all of these, you can do it way ahead of time. You don't have to drive yourself crazy in the last minute. Okay. All of this is so easy to do. I understand. Barry over there have a question for us. Yeah, what does Jia Zheng mean? Jia Zheng is Jia Jia Gabor's favorite noodle dish. <laughs> no, Jia, be serious. Jia means, let me uh, turn this on. Jia means stir fry, deep fry. Min means noodle. And then Zhang is sauce. It means a meat sauce noodle. That's how they call jia jiang. See, that means you can prepare all this jia jiang way ahead of time. So you don't have to do it in the last minute. You have all this jia jiang, stir fry, get ready. When you're ready, when the noodle is ready, you just put it right on top, okay? Now, the first thing I want to show you how to do is stir fry some of these, okay? Stir fry the meat with the jia jiang, with the jiang, which is the sauce. 
okay? Heat up the wok. Use some garlic if you wish. You don't have to use garlic. You can use the garlic. If you use non-sticking frying pan, you only have to use a teeny tiny bit of oil. You do not have to use too much oil. That's all. That's all you really use. You don't use more, much more than this. That's all you use. <laughs> stir fry, and then you stir fry the meat. Put it right here. See, I'm gonna save some for later. And then stir fry. Now I'm not quite sure how many of you know. China is very famous. There are a lot of the noodle dishes. Some are stir fry, some are noodle soup. And everybody also know that noodle is invented in China. And Marco Polo brought it back to Italy. When Marco Polo got back to Italy, he got so excited. He fixed a noodle dinner for his family. He invited all his relatives, friends to come and have dinner. And his father said, Marco, please pass the mean. Mean means noodle in Chinese. And then his mother said, Marco, pass the mean. Everybody say, pass the mean, pass the mean. And Marco gets up, pasta, pasta. <laughs> That's why we end up having pasta. <laughs> now, you stir fry this until they are cooked. Okay, it takes about three minutes. And then you put the sauce, oh, make a nice sauce. Put the sauce right here and let it simmer so they're nice and wonderful. In the meantime, we want to show you how to garnish this. Put it right here, some carrot, some green onion or cucumber to give color, okay? Carrot, carrot. In the meantime, you are still stirring, frying. <laughs> and then some Sichuan pickle. Put it right here. Sichuan pickle, Sichuan pickle, Sichuan pickle. Now, also put some nuts around here to make it into a gorgeous dish. Some chopped dry shrimp, okay? And of course, if you prefer, you can also use a tiny bit of pineapple because pineapple is my favorite. <laughs> put it right here. Put it right, give color. And then when this is done, all you have to do is put this jang right on top of the noodle. That's why you have jia jang mian. Look at this, how gorgeous it looks. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Wonderful dish. I understand. I understand that Bobby have a question for us over there. Yes, when I try to pan fry uh, bean thread noodles, I came out with a wok full of mush. Well, there can be two problems. One, when you buy it, the package say mushy root noodles. <laughs> Secondly, you stir fry it with too much liquid inside. See, when you stir fry and you stir fry it, the noodle tend to get stuck because it's too much liquid. So one of the problem is, one of the solution is, you can use a non-stick frying pan. And as soon as you stir fry the noodle, you, as soon as you boil the noodle, sprinkle with a tiny bit of cook oil or sesame seed oil so they won't get stuck, okay? You heard of mushy pork. There's also mushy noodle. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next dish we're gonna show you is seafood with pan fry noodles. This is a wonderful family style everyday dish because you can have anything. Just put them all together. Here, we have quarter pound of prawn. You can use shrimp with squid, one whole squid. You can use quarter pound of scallop. You can also have a tiny bit, small, half a small carrot, julienne, half of an onion, couple of mushroom, and a couple of two whole green onion, and some snow pea, particularly when the snow pea is in season, okay? Now, this is very, very simple. But with all of these, you cannot make pan fry noodle without noodle. <laughs> but don't worry. We have the one of the wonderful noodle maker. He's going to come out here today in this show to make fresh hand make noodle. Just for all of you, he's from the San Wong Restaurant San Francisco. Let's welcome Mr. San Wong's 
Chef, the noodle man, Mr. Wong. Tax Chen. This is an ancient art. Very few people in the U.S. know how to do this. You start with a glob of a noodle, of dough, made out of cake flour. And then you knead it and you knead it until they are long cylindrical, like this, with some flour. Beat that thing. <laughs> you, the, oh, yeah, the best way, the best way to get your frustration out. <laughs> and then you keep on beating to make it more elastic, okay? Apparently, Chef Wong doesn't want me to talk. You keep on beating it and make sure they won't get stuck on the table. And then you twist this from two to four and you twist it again. Great exercise. And you twist it one more time. Great for your hip. <laughs> one more time and that's enough. Good. And then after that, you roll it up. Some more flour. And then, one more time. Oh, oh, almost. And then, look at this, this is wonderful. You roll it, you roll it, and you roll it. You roll it. Walk and roll, roll and roll. <laughs> and then from one to two, you see how you can, from two, you can make four geometric progression. From four, you will have eight. From eight, you will have 16. From 16, you're going to have 32. From 32, you have a 64. And you keep on counting and counting <laughs> until you run out of juice. <laughs> Look at this. This is a fascinating art. It takes years of practice. We were childhood friends. When we were a little kid, we don't have any other toys, so we play noodle games. <laughs> when we graduated, Mr. Wong, oh, this is a little knife. This is done. I want everybody to believe, look at this. I want everybody to look at this. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, after, after this, you have to boil it before you can cook it. So we're going to boil it here. Then we can use this noodle just freshly Handmade by Mr. Wong. Don't worry, I have one ready made for you. You have one already ready made? Sure. What a nice guy. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef Wong from the San Juan restaurant. Thank you. Oh, what a fascinating exercise. I love it. I've been trying to practice the whole thing. I've been practicing with this dough for the past two years. Never come out. <laughs> it's always the same dough. Now, this particular dish is very simple. I will have to marinate all my meats and use these. Marinate this. Of course, when you do this at home, you should marinate this with your chopstick. Okay? Do not marinate it with your finger because it's not too nice to do that. So we will marinate it with chopstick here. This is the way it goes, okay? Stir fry, stir fry. In a bowl, you can more or less like stir it and mix it well. Let it sit for about half an hour or so. Now, and then I'm gonna heat up this wok. Here, for convenience sake, we use this electric wok because you can put it, you can walk anywhere you want. It doesn't make any difference. So give us the flexibility. First of all, heat it up, and then we use one teaspoon or so of oil. And then, when the wok is hot enough, you add the seafood. Seafood. Now make sure, when you do stir-fry dishes, make sure the wok is piping hot. Make sure the oil is hot enough. When you put it in, nothing gets stuck. Okay, stir fry. Oh, can you see that? Stir fry, stir fry. Now, when you boil the noodle, in order to avoid 
mushy noodle. As soon as you boil it, make sure it's sprinkled with oil. Kind of put oil in your engine so it won't get stuck. Otherwise, you end up having a gigantic noodle ball. Stir fry. Stir it like this. Look at how easy it is. Stir. Stir. How can you tell the seafood is cooked when the shrimp turn pink? When the squid turn curl up like this because they shine. That means they are cooked. Stir a little bit more. Stir a little bit more. Great exercise. Turn on your exercise music and do it like this. And then put the uh, ingredient, which is carrot, mushroom, and also sliced onion, okay? For those who love snow pea, you can also put some snow pea over there. Stir fry, stir fry, stir fry. And then you put the sauce. Now when you pit mix the sauce, this particular sauce has one cup of broth, three tablespoons of oyster sauce, and also have approximately two tablespoons of all-purpose soy sauce. Let's put this in and also one tablespoon of sherry, okay? And also a tiny bit of wine, Shaoxing wine or dry sherry. When this is done, you put the boiled noodle right in here, okay? See, this is not mushy mushy roux noodle because I have put the oil over there to oil. I did an oil job. <laughs> stir fry, stir fry. Now, I'm not quite sure how many of you know how beautiful this dish can be. When I put this out, you'll be amazed how wonderful this dish will look. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> wonderful dish. We would like to show you, not only you can do a noodle, pan fry noodle dish like this, Pan fry noodle in Chinese called chow mian. Chow means stir fry. Mian is noodle. So this pan fry noodle is also called chow mian. Okay. Now in Cantonese style, they also make noodle pancake like this. You see, you make it into a pancake. This is a Chinese style noodle frisbee. You throw it from here, it will go all the way to Washington D.C. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity. I understand that somebody over there asked me earlier. When you cook noodle, how are you, how many minutes you're going to boil it up? It's very simple. All you have to do is boil it up for about two and a half to three minutes. Okay? Look at how beautiful. A piece of art. <laughs> We're going to show you how to make curry rice steak noodle. You may be surprised because this is the only rice they never stick. I don't know why they call rice sticks. Here, we start with approximately six to eight ounces of rice stick noodles, okay? This is how it looks, rice stick noodles, okay? And we also have half a cup to quarter pound of bean sprout, quarter pound of shrimp, cooked shrimp. And I also have quarter pound or even two ounces of Chinese style barbecue pork. We also have one to two large whole green onion and one omelet, small egg omelet, one egg omelet. And also four or five to six black mushroom. If you have, happen to have some shallot, you can also cut up some shallot, okay? I wanna show you, we're gonna cut up the black mushroom first. And I also want to show you how to cut up the Chinese barbecue pork. The number of ways to get this. One is you prepare it yourself. One is go to a Chinese restaurant for takeout. <laughs> cut it up at an angle like this because you want to julienne this. Cut it up like this, okay? Then you stack them more up like this. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you put them all together. Now, when these are all ready, this dish is so easy to do. Heat up the wok. I prefer you use non-stick 
frying pan or wok. This way, you would not have to worry about getting stuck. Make sure you add approximately two teaspoons up to a tablespoon of oil. Not much because they're non-stick, okay? And then you put all these ingredients there. Sliced shallot, mushroom, Chinese barbecue pork, green onion, omelet, bean sprout, and shrimp. It's a wonderful, colorful, very typical Chinese restaurant dish. You stir. Why I'm stirring this? I understand. Roof over there has a question for us. How many different kinds of Chinese noodles are there? Oh, there are many, many kinds of Chinese noodle. I only want to show you a couple of different kinds here. Why I'm stir frying this? I have some time. Now, here is wonderful. You remember we start with the rice noodle, right? This is rice noodle. And this is cellophane noodle. Rice noodle make out of rice flour. Cellophane noodles make out of mung bean flour. We also have the thick Shanghai noodles that make out of wheat flour. We also have the flat, dry noodles make out of wheat flour and egg. We also have skinny wheat flour noodle in a pancake like this. And then we also have the rice noodle, fresh rice noodle. And we, of course, have another kind of cellophane noodle. This cellophane noodle is cute because it cut into the same length, exactly five inches long. So you don't have to drive yourself crazy. Try to pull the darn thing up like this. <laughs> <laughs> there are, of course, many other more. There are instant noodles. See, a lot of people love instant noodles. But these are basically the most popular type of noodle that are available and served in Chinese restaurants. I hope I have answered your question. Now, let us come back here before it gets burned. Wonderful, wonderful. And then we will put the rice noodle, which is blanched. Water blanched, or you call parboil. Approximately one minute in boiling water. Some Chinese restaurant, they don't even parboil. They just run boiling water through a strainer, put the rice noodle there and soften it up, okay? This way, you stir fire. Look at how colorful this is. Look at how colorful. And then we're going to make this dish a little bit more unique by using the following ingredient. We're going to use the exotic ingredient. Like in this bowl here, I want to show you what it is because this is very important. This is what makes it wonderful. I have approximately one tablespoon to one and a half tablespoon of curry powder. Love. How many of you like curry powder? Raise your hand. Oh, that's wonderful. Got nice aroma. And also, I have a dish of five spice powder. This is five spice powder, okay? Five spice powder. And I also have one to two tablespoons of all-purpose, all-purpose soy sauce, okay? Mix them all up and also use about a quarter of a cup to half a cup of broth. And then when this is ready, we'll put it right here. And you see the change of color. Look at this. Look at this, mix them all up. Stir, toss, wonderful. Wow, so aromatic, I can smell it. And then you can also do it like this. You toss your wok like this. Look at this. Wow. Now, of course, that's my favorite. I always use a touch of pineapple, of course. Oh, cut it up. Wow, look at this. And then, give that nice zest to it. When it's done, I want to show you how easy it is to make this dish look absolutely gorgeous. Put it here, always shut off the heat when the dish is done so they would not continue to get cooked. Put it right here, look at how gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And you grateful today in the audience. Are you grateful that Marco Polo's father say, pasta me, pasta me. <laughs> That's the reason why we have the pasta today. Unfortunately, the pasta party is over. Remember, if Yen can cook, so can you join in.